All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Iceman is here in Marvel Strike Force. And you know what that means. We're going to do our usual thing, guys. I got my little buddies here. Little A, little G. They are going to help me open some orbs. We're going to do some T4 recommendations and let you know. If he's worth it. Oh, yeah, baby. And if you're ready for all of that, little buddies, tell them what to do. Let's go smash it. Yeah. Alley flying. Oh, hello, Valley Maniacs. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying. This is Little A. This is Little G. They have been very, very lucky with red stars and normal orb openings. And we need a good, we need a good one today because Iceman is here in Marvel Strike Force. Do you guys remember who Iceman is? Yeah, he's the guy that can turn into ice. He can turn into ice. He can make things into ice. Very, very strong mutant. And he is now in Marvel Strike Force, and that means we have to open some red star orbs for him and get lucky. Now, he is a good character. I think our target for this character is going to be five. So we're going we're gonna to go open a bunch of red star orbs, guys. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not too many, but we need a five star on Iceman. More is better. And uh, yeah, we're going to rank him up, take him into battle, and let you guys know... Is worth it, yeah. You guys, all right. Well, guys, if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe and uh, notification bell and all that stuff, guys, for more great Marvel Strike Force content. But without further ado, let's go into the orb chamber and boom, it is time to open some orbs. All right, yeah, Bishop. Bishop is coming. Not in, not right now. Not in this update. But my favorite. Uh, um, who is your favorite? No, like <laughs> my favorite mutant is Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, she's she's Do you know the game. Who your favorite? Uh, maybe Wolverine, but this game has kind of soured me to Wolverine. He's not, he's not that great in this game, but all right. Uh, let, let's start this off. This is our opener here, guys. Let's open, th uh, five. let's go three each. Our target is uh, five Iceman. Little A, Little G, who is starting off? Me, 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 me. Looks like Little A is starting off here, guys. All right, and hit that, hit that button. Yes. Hit it, hit it. All right, we got three here, three here. All right, ooh, it is not starting off good. It is starting off with a green, no. but that has not stopped us from having a great orb opening before, guys. Oh, it is another one. Peter Parker version of Spider-Man. One more, and then we're gonna hand it off to, oh, that was a very fast one, Coulson. All right, little A, hand it off to little G. She has three to open in this, uh, in this, in this normal Red Star orb chamber. All right, little G, get the luck. Get the luck here. Why are you putting that paper clip in? <laughs> All right, there is, uh, she took it out. All right, come on. All right, let's go, let's go. We need some good luck. Iceman is here. Iceman is a mutant. These mutant. Astonishing X-Men team is looking very good. All right, it is, oh, Heimdall. But even that would not be enough. We need at least five on Iceman here. Is that three? Yeah. That was three. All right, you got a Mr. T there. All right, we're up to 13. Let's go into the orb chamber. We're going to go four star. I don't know if we're going to use our six star, guys. I think we might be saving one of these for Bishop and one of these for Jubilee. But uh, let's see if we get lucky here. And uh, maybe we get another one here. But all right. We're going to open both of these. Who wants to open the first? Me, 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 all right. Me, 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 me. It is. I don't know who said it first. It me, looks like me. Little G is uh, leaning a little more forward. First one, Elite Four. Let's go and do this. We need some good luck. I'm crossing my fingers here. Oh, and it is another ugly Heimdall. Four star there. All right, you opened that open? way too. You only had one there. Now now it is back to little A for this one. Yeah. All right, let's see who gets a better what? one here. Oh, she's taking some luck. All right, we're going to need the luck. We need the luck. Take the luck. Take the luck. We, we need it. We need all the luck we can get. Oh, and... Nervous claim. Neither. Neither. And both of them are very ugly. Let's go back into these uh, well, normal orbs. Back. Let's see. Let's see if we get uh, something lucky here. All right. We'll go five. Who wants to open the first five? Me, 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 me. I did hear little G first that time. So little G, you're going to go first here with these uh, five. And uh, we got to we got to go with uh, okay. our guy. All right. All right. Little G. Little G. Let's go. Let's go. Little G. All right. We got five or five. Five. So there's one. All right, we still we have still have not seen Iceman. What are the odds of that? We've opened we've opened what seven, eight orbs, nine orbs now, and we still have not seen our. All right, all right. So all right, there there's a tinfoil hat. It's done. We've seen him once, but it's still not at the star level that we need. 
We need to get at least five on this character. This is good. This looks to be a very important part of this astonishing x You got two more. Two more. Oh, can we be done? Oh, so close. It is a four. Normally, that would be very, very good. But this is Iceman that we're talking about here, guys. All right. Let that one go. All right. There's your five. Let's go. Five for little A. Can you do this? Can you get us a good five-star Iceman, little A? Iceman! All right, all right. So far, little G, I think, is winning in the uh, the total orb. So uh, if we have that one four star, I think, uh, or or maybe maybe I'll have you open the five and little A can open the five. Maybe I have four. to sit. All right, there's one, there's one. Maybe you do got to sit up straight. Good posture is always important here, little Good A. Good posture. All right, there's another. Oh, we're getting greens here. All right, maybe, I'm maybe, maybe it has nothing at all to do with the posture. <laughs> maybe it's just total random luck. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Three more. Three more. Wait. Oh, during the Karate Kid. Did that work last time? I don't remember if it worked. I'm not time. sure. I don't know either. I don't remember. All right, Jessica Jones. All right, we got to hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Collect it. Collect it. Collect it. All right, two more. Two more. Two more. We're going to have to go to another chamber if this doesn't go well. All right, we got one here. Oh, it is another Iceman. All right, but, but Little G, I think, is in the lead with a four-star Iceman here. All right. No. All right. All right, so... We're gonna go into the other orb chamber here, guys, and hopefully this is done. Hopefully this is done. Uh, if not, we might have to come back later. All right, so we have one five and one four. Let's open the four first, and then I'm gonna give little G a shot with this five here. So little A, you get the four. It might be done though. It might be done. Hopefully we get a seven right here, and it, it can be done. Hopefully. All right. All right, it is a gold. Six Colossus upgrade. That was an awesome one, but it is not what we're looking for. No. Oh, I saw you try to open another one. All right. It is, it is a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one, but it is not the X-Men we are looking for. We actually have two of these now because that was such a good orb opening. All right. Little, little G. I'm going to give you this one because you got the four. And then little A, I'm going to give you another one because you got that six on there. Oh, it is a... Oh, oh, that's a nebula. All right, little A, you seem to have some good luck here. Let's 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 go with this one right here. You have the hot hand here. What are you gonna get? Is it gonna be Ice Man and get us done at this? It is a oh! yes. We got the six on Ice Man. My and goodness. We were trying even to get My the goodness. five. And we, and we got a six on Colossus too. Little A, this this is your lucky night. I'm gonna let you open more of these. Actually, let's go. Let's go here. We're gonna make sure that we open them one by one, so you can have four. Little G is gonna have four. Uh, little A, because you've done a little better with this uh, Ice Man tonight. I'm gonna let you pick. Who do you want to go first? First four, and who do you want to have the second four on these cold as ice orbs? You get the pick. I think Little G. Little G, you are going first here. You have the first four. I will in be action. very generous. All right, gener generosity. All right, all right, Little no, G. No, she can go first. No, but she gets the pick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First four, Little G. Let's see if you can turn around with this orb opening. A lot of times it switches back and forth. All right, it is it is a non bare minimum, so that's good news. There's, a, there's 10 in our books right now. We already have that 55 from the orb opening. Oh, that was that was, a, that was a good purple bowl, but it was on the wrong pillar. We need a center pillar. Oh, it's another green. All right, little G. It looks like you have one more here. All right, all right, little A, little A. Are you going to get super lucky tonight? Not only getting that six-star pole, can you get a... Can you get a 180? Oh, not on this one. Not on this one. We're not doing as lucky with the uh, with these other orbs here. Oh, not very good here either. <laughs> we got two more. All right, we can. It can all be made good with one pull here. Oh, not this one. All right, we got one more. Little A, we got one more. Is this gonna be the pull? Is this gonna be the pull, guys? All right, little A. Oh, she's taking all of the luck possible. That would. Oh, no, does not. All right, so let's collect all of these. 50 bucks. We got the initial 50. And we got another 58. That puts us over the limit here. And they're so happy. They are singing here, guys. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go rank up our Iceman. Build them up as big as possible. Look, Listen to this singing, guys. They are so happy about this six-star Iceman. <laughs> We're going to build them up. We're going to be right back. All right, and this is where I was able to build up Iceman level 64 
which means that we are able to put that T4 in the passive here, which you can see I already did. We're going to talk about these T4 recommendations, but I do want to talk about ISO 8 because I think uh, Raider is where I want to start off with initial testing for Iceman. I uh, don't have the ions to get it up to level 3, but should be there very, very soon. As we see, I uh, have all of the pieces of the crystals there for the level 3 upgrades but let's take a look at his t4s before we take him into battle we're going to take him into raids and into blitz guys uh the primary or the basic 50 percent damage to primary and secondary targets seems a little low his damage doesn't seem over the top because he is a controller and not a blaster so this is one i think that you could wait on i would have preferred a uh t4 ability that has more uh tricks up its sleeve more buffs more debuffs more ways to reduce speed uh that just does not do that so basic i think we could hold off unless you're really really going hardcore on ice man uh this is an aoe attack or this is a attacking the primary target extra 50 percent damage and again if this is a if he, the target has slow which his aoe does from his ultimate you will have slow and this will crit and apply stun but i think 50 percent damage just seems a little low for my taste for a t4 investment his uh ultimate though is gonna have 10 percent extra of this character's max health as a barrier so uh the more barrier he has the more survivability he's gonna have and the more of he that he's gonna be able to do some of these other moves i think this is a decent one 60 percent damage to an aua attack i think is also a little bit above the baseline so i think this is a very good one of i'm not at level 70 yet so i can't do this one but uh this is gonna be the next one that i'm gonna do and obviously his passive we've already done it what is it going to do it's going to give him extra 30 percent piercing on enemy turn and what does that do actually when we go down here on enemy turn he has a 30 percent chance to attack that enemy for 140 percent piercing so it goes up from 110 to 140 if the enemy has slow he's always going to attack that enemy for that 140 piercing and if we go down here he's also going to reduce the armor by 20 percent for enemies with slow goes up from uh from 10 to 20 with his t4 and then he's going to reduce the damage in raids for all enemies by instead of 20 percent 30 percent with this t4 so i think this is the best t4 uh of the group this ultimate is also very good but i think you could skip on the basic and the special let's go take him into battle this is from the live stream this morning like i said we're going to take him into two raids we're going to take him into uh the ultimates raids and we're going to take him into blitz and uh, see how how he does with his full team in there all right here we are a node k7 ultima 7.5 going in with his mixed team very very underpowered especially for ultima 7.5 i'll be i'll be pretty impressed if they manage to get through one or two of these waves let's see what happens this is the wave with juggernaut of course uh the control lots of control from Iceman, although he needs a lot of these stars so he's a little underpowered for this node let's take them in and see how they do though kitty pride is gonna have to keep them alive i'll obviously put the t4 in both their passives the kitty pride passive and the Iceman passive but we need to we need to make sure that they survive that's that's the big thing we're looking for here you guys all right and let's get this to 3x speed except when Iceman has his turn we're gonna start off with some storm let's see if we can get some control and make use of that synergy with beast there all right let's do that aoe attack and let's ability block i think the one we want ability block is juggernaut i don't think we want to get stuck behind juggernaut so we use the uh, ability block here all right one x speed let's see if we can slow all of these enemies here with this big move oh nice animation on this and we don't get the slow on everybody we get the slow on a lot of the characters though now it's up to kitty pride she is going to apply disrupted let's get the disrupted on miss marvel although juggernaut might have been better at we got the we got the disrupted right there also have a disrupted on ronin iron man all these characters and who just died someone just died beast just died oh not not as successful as we were going under some of the earlier nodes with beast and these characters but uh, all of the debuffs are removed from ronin and this is not a good test we might have to take these guys into a blitz match here to get a successful test of this team because yes yeah, just at these low power levels right now not surviving as much as i would want all right we go one x speed here and oh nice animation that is an awesome animation unfortunately at his low power level not doing a lot of damage here let's see if we get this uh lockheed to steal some of these buffs from uh, Jug uh juggernaut he does have a lot of resistance so yes all of it is resisted unfortunately and this is not a great test but uh yes kind of a preview of what uh yeah the node 
not not good kind of a preview of what they can do in uh in action here and you got some good survivability from kitty pride here it did not make it through the first wave although uh yes i think once they're built up once we have more gold stars on iceman will be a lot more survival look at that took took the heat from ronin took that big aoe move all those evades but even that i think it's not going to be enough to even kill one enemy here but uh let, let's test them out in the in the blitz let's see if we get a little better test here let's go one x speed see the animations the animations my goodness these animations are nice for Iceman. but yeah they're they're not gonna survive this note here comes juggernaut and oh there it goes kitty pride there goes the protection of this team let's bring this back up to 3x and throw this on auto and uh take these guys into blitz and see if we get a little better test of this team see what they can do in action guys so here we are we're looking at this team actually uh did a, a accidental sim on 8.3 so we're back down to tier 8 and uh because this is a blitz that i don't need the characters for don't want to go too crazy on this blitz uh refreshing this too often so we're going to do this test right here against this mixed team the power lies in winter soldier right here a pretty dis evenly distribution of power with the rest of the team but winter soldier big big uh character the room uh character with the power and then drax is the big taunter let's go into battle right now and see if we can get a little better test than what we've had experienced in ultima 7 and with that accidental blitz sim that we just did all right here we go yeah cindy crawford yeah I uh, so wish WandaVision would do Al and Peggy Bundy. They might. They might. There's little elements of other stuff in there as well. All right. Here we go here. We have the taunt on Drax. Let's bring this up to 3x speed, and hopefully we get all of the uh, 1x for our uh, new character, the new kid on the block, Iceman. One of the original X-Men in the game. All right. Let's go back to 1x speed here. Let's see if we get everyone slowed. And boom, there is the slows on everyone except for Drax. And oh, some extra, some extra damage to Yondu there. Disrespecting Yondu. Yondu goes after Colossus. And let's see if we can steal all this, uh, removing the taunt off of Drax. Some nice synergy here with Kitty Pride. Boom, takes the taunt off, which allows us to get to some stronger characters. Luckily, their strong character of Winter Soldier goes after our strong character of Colossus. And if that continues, uh, we will be in very good shape. Let's uh, let's keep throwing these basics off with our uh, Storm. And boom, here we go. Here we go to primary target. Uh, we'll put the Disrupted on Drax so he can't taunt again, even though he just did his special. So it doesn't really matter too much. Maybe should have saved the. Maybe I should have saved the special for Drax's second turn. All right, here is the second turn of Iceman. And let's find somebody with slow. Gamora is slowed. Actually, let's go to X-43. So let's see how big his damage is. Can he take her out? No, he does stun her though, which is good. All right, and let's bring this back up to three X speed while Winter Soldier does his moves. And now we're going in again. Let's extend all of this stuff. Unfortunately, he does not have the taunt still on him. And let's see if we can get this slow and have it not use up all the charges. There we go. There's that beast passive with that synergy with uh, Storm right there. All right. Everybody's getting offense up. Nice move there. Does not take out X-23. Can Colossus do it? No, she dodges. She has that evade on her. All right, and, and we probably could have taken everybody out with that big move from Storm there. Let's go to the basic and see if we get another turn for Iceman, though. There is Iceman. All right, all right, here. This should be a big damaging move. Let's see how much damage he does. This very strong Winter Soldier, 15,000 damage. Decent, decent, especially for a three gold star Iceman there, but does not take him out. I guess, let me change that. That's disappointing. <laughs> I guess not too disappointing because it was a very strong Winter Soldier that we went up against and a very weak Iceman. So it should be not be too expected that we're going to take him out. But here we go. Let's see if we can take him out with Colossus, our strong character. Takes away his gun, kicks him in the back, knocks him off of the platform. And there it is, guys. Game, set, match. So, guys, we've seen the orb openings. We've seen the T4 recommendations and we've seen him in battle on a couple different teams, a couple different game modes. But now it's time to answer the most important question is he worth it and i think a lot of his value is going to come from this astonishing x-men team especially with these doom raids coming up they look to be a very important part of this doom raids and 
He looks to be uh, someone that you're going to want to complete the team. There's only five of these astonishing X-Men right now. He is the fifth member. So, uh, yes, I think you're going to need him if you're building up this team. So just for that alone, and, and his kit is pretty good as well. I think he is going to be worth it for this full astonishing X-Men team. If you're planning on getting Jubilee on this first run, I definitely think you should get Iceman. Now, uh, he, he does have some value outside of this team but mo mainly in raids you may be wanted you may be using him in just a normal x-men team it's not going to be as effective as his astonishing x-men team so i think if you're using him in a non-astonishing x-men team he's going to lose a lot of values so unless you plan on getting jubilee i i think you could wait on him at least for now maybe wait till his blitz comes up in a couple weeks and uh, get stars on him that way but yeah i think he's a good character his kit is good but i think a lot of that value is fully tied to this astonishing x-men team guys so uh that's the base of that and then of course there are rumors flying around about this astonishing x-men team being the next legendary unlock after jubilee if you believe those rumors guys uh and you don't want to miss out on potential legendary characters then uh for that reason, again, you may want to invest in this character. So a few different reasons to invest in this character. Let me know your thoughts on his kit. Let me know your thoughts on the test. And let me know how you did. If you bought some of these orbs, how you did with the orb opening, the Red Star orb opening for Iceman, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you make the decision if you want to get Iceman or not. And uh, yes, good luck with your orb openings if you do open some Iceman, some Red Star orbs for Iceman, guys. I will see you guys next time. Before you go, check out some of my other videos and give me a Hulk fist bump, baby. Oh, yeah. Valley flying out.